What's up guys, it's Patricia from tarantulaheaven.com and today we're going to be talking about why you need to take a tarantula egg sac away from its tarantula mom. If you're new to the channel, I put out videos every single Tuesday on Tarantula Tuesday related to tarantulas, so if you're into that, please subscribe. Um, so I don't know about you guys, but whenever I see videos of egg sacs being taken away from a new tarantula mother, my heart breaks a little bit. I feel really, really bad for the tarantula mom who just worked so hard to lay all these eggs and make this egg sac. And I feel even worse when she, like usually these tarantula moms put up like a really big fight. Um, and I don't know if it's something like maternal within me that just jumps into action, but I feel really, really sad and bad for them. Um, and now that I know that tarantula moms can spend hours looking for their stolen egg sac, uh, I feel even worse for them. However, I know why this is necessary, but for those who do not know why this happens or why this should happen, it can seem really, really cruel and harsh. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. So why are all of these heartless tarantula owners stealing egg sacs from new mothers? A tarantula that has just given birth or become a new tarantula mother may give the appearance that she is diligently guarding her egg sac and taking care of her uh, soon-to-be babies. However, that's not always the case. In some cases, tarantula mothers actually consume their egg sacs. So that is one major consideration of why a lot of tarantula owners choose to pull the egg sac from the mothers to avoid losing the eggs if the mom decides to eat her children. A lot of other tarantula owners choose to pull the egg sac because they believe that it's safer and easier to pull them before they hatch because um, once you get the tarantula babies hatching and in the enclosure with the mom, it's going to be near impossible to separate them or at least not very safe to separate them. So they choose to do it before things get crazy in the tank than after. There are definitely, as with many things in this hobby, varied responses and opinions on this. Um, I did some research on arachnoboards.com about this, um, as well as tarantula forums, and some tarantula owners do believe that leaving the egg sac in the tank with the mother will actually yield healthier slings. However, you do have to take the risk that the mother may eat her babies. A lot of tarantula owners just think this is too big of a risk because we all know how precious that egg sac is. So in choosing to remove an egg sac, a lot of tarantula owners will wait approximately 30 days before pulling the egg sac. This thinking kind of gives the tarantula mother um, enough time to take care of the egg sac and get things started before a tarantula owner can pull the egg sac and keep that care going. So once the egg sac is pulled, it is up to the tarantula owner to make sure that this egg sac continues to be cared for and watched and turned. So a tarantula owner will have to kind of do a manual incubator that will mirror what the tarantula mother will be doing for the egg sac if it was still in the tank with the mom. So the incubator has to provide similar circumstances like turning the egg sac, um, however, this would be a more controlled and predictable environment because there is no tarantula mom that might decide to eat them. So if you want to learn how to make a manual incubator or how it works at least, um, I do have a really great video in the blog post that's in the description below. So you can head to my website, read that blog post and see a really, really great video about that. It's very, very interesting. I've never done this, never even made it a tarantula. So I know nothing personally about this, but researching it was super interesting. So definitely watch that. So yes, while my heart breaks when I continue to watch videos of egg sacs being pulled, I do understand why it's being done. And I think that if you are a new tarantula owner, it's also important for you to understand why it's being done too, because we are not, we do not have many tarantula owners that are just being unnecessarily cruel to tarantula mothers in this hobby. There's a reason why they do this. They always want to get a nice egg sac full of nice, healthy, strong tarantula babies so that we can continue to grow this hobby. Um, so that is really important to prioritize and that's what makes it necessary to pull egg sacs away from new mothers. And I hope that if you are um, thinking about mating tarantulas in the future or um, trying to get your own tarantula to produce an egg sac that this kind of lets you know what you need to do. In the future, I'm thinking about making a video about why tarantula mothers eat the egg sac. I don't know, I think that would be kind of interesting to research. Um, so if you're interested in that, please let me know in the comments below. 
Um, it could be a very obvious answer, but I can't think of it right now. So I think I want to do some of my own research on that. Um, just seems like an interesting topic. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. Um, let me know if you thought this video was interesting. Um, if you've ever made your own incubator or pulled an egg sack, please share your experience. And if you've actually gotten some really great slings out of that, I'd love to know how that worked out for you. Um, thanks for watching guys. And I will see you next week on Tarantula Tuesday. Take care. Bye.